If you hire a contractor to build a treehouse, you'd hardly expect to pay him unless you got your treehouse. However, several considerations come into play when evaluating whether a breach of contract occurred, and the outcomes may just surprise you. The Arkansas case of Roberts Contracting Company versus Valentine Wooten Road Public Facility Board explores one such matter. In June of 2004, the Valentine Wooten Road Public Facility Board engaged Roberts Contracting Company to construct a sewer system by April of the following year. The contract provided that Valentine would secure all easements necessary for the project. Roberts was paid for its services throughout the course of the project. Many issues, including difficulties with the easements, weather, and consultant engineer disputes, caused delays, and Roberts ultimately abandoned the project before the sewer system was functional. Roberts contended that the incomplete work was outside the scope of its contract and that Valentine's failure to fulfill its obligations frustrated Roberts' ability to perform. Roberts refused to continue work and submitted a final $160,000 bill for services already rendered to Valentine. Valentine refused to pay because of Roberts' alleged failure to complete the work. Roberts asserted that it substantially performed under the contract and sued Valentine in trial court for breach of contract, requesting the final bill amount. Valentine contended that Roberts didn't substantially perform and counterclaimed for actual and liquidated damages. The trial court determined that Roberts didn't substantially perform and denied its claim. On the counterclaim, it awarded Valentine liquidated damages. Both parties cross-appealed.